Hello, I'm Heidi Larson. I'm the director of the Vaccine Confidence Project and a professor of anthropology, risk, and decision science at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. While my main training is in anthropology, I've focused on health and particularly interested in how people perceive and manage risk. My first question is wondering, how are we gonna do as a world in vaccinating everyone against COVID or as many people as we need to and can to protect ourselves against COVID? It's a huge task. There are different vaccines, uh, different countries have different capacities, and a lot of people have different views about vaccines and particularly the COVID vaccine. My second question would be, what are the role of emotions in the way that we roll out the vaccines, but also in the public's willingness to accept them? COVID and the pandemic in general has been a, a hugely emotional time for many. It's been frightening for some, uh, a bit un uncertain, a lot of uncertainty and anxiety among others. Some having hope, looking forward to getting to the other side, especially with the introduction of vaccines. There are many different uh, anxieties and some of it is not just about vaccines, but about econ economies, keeping a job, being able to go to school, to work, and to see family and friends. So emotions are a very important role and it's important to think about them. Also the emotions of healthcare workers who are doing their best to try to help people who are becoming very ill with COVID. And the third question I have is about people's trust in government because trust in government is a huge factor in their willingness to accept a vaccine. Particularly in the context of COVID, People are judging their level of trust in government about how the government managed the control measures, masking, distancing, lockdowns. If they did that well and people felt like there was efforts to be protected against COVID and it was in their interest, in the public's interest, they'll be more positive about the vaccine. If they don't feel like the government has managed the response in general well, or there's different historic issues of trust. It may be more difficult to get and encourage people to get vaccinated. Thinking of all those questions on, are we, how are we gonna do with the rollout? If 2020 was a year of trying to control COVID, 2021 is the year of vaccines. And everything we do is really gonna be focused on trying to get vaccines to everyone, but we have to keep people engaged with masking and distancing because we need everything we can to slow the spread of this virus. And with that, the emotions, the trust levels, and, and how people are sharing information is gonna be really important. And I think one of the most important things is to remember when you hear things that don't sound right, you should double check them. We need to make sure that you're getting the best evidence and you're not being misguided by misinformation.